Hi everyone, in this video we are going to learn about CSS color. So in web development and design, colors can be specified in multiple ways. One common method is to use predefined color names such as red or blue. Another approach is to utilize RGB, hex, HSL, RGBA or HSLA values. These different formats allows for more precise control over color selection and customization. Now in this video, we will focus on those methods that we used a lot and these are specifying colors by name, RGB and by using X code of that color. So the first one is by CSS color name. CSS provides the option to specify colors using predefined color names. This means that Instead of using individual color codes or values, we can use simply common color names. This can make it easier and more intuitive for us to work with colors in our CSS code. And now the second one is by using RGB values. RGB color values are used to represent different combination of red, green and blue light sources. By adjusting the intensity of each color, varying shades and who is can be achieved. This system is widely used in digital displays and image processing to accurately reproduce a wide range of colors. We can specify a color using the RGB value format and this format allows us to define the intensity of red, green and blue in a color using a specific formula which is RGB function and in this function we have values red, green and blue separated by commas. Now in the RGB color model, each parameter red, green and blue determines the intensity of the color on a scale from 0 to 255. For instance, if you have an RGB value of 255, 0 and 0, it represents red because red is set to its maximum value 255 while green and blue are both set to zero. Now if you want to display the color black, you can achieve this by setting all the colors parameter to zero. For example, you can use the code RGB and then all the values for red, green and blue is zero. On the other hand, if you want to display white, simply set all the color parameters to 255. In this case, you can use RGB then 255, 255 and 255 for all the three values. We can define shades of grey. It is common to use equal values for all three light sources. This means that the intensity level of red, green and blue are set at the same level to achieve different shades of grey like this. Now after this we have RGBA values. RGBA color values are enhanced version of RGB color values that include an additional alpha channel. This alpha channel determines the level of transparency or opacity for a particular color. An RGBA color value is specified with this syntax. First we have RGBA function, then in that we have red, green, blue and value for alpha channel. Here the alpha parameter determines the transparency level of an object ranging from 0.0 to 1.0 which is completely opaque and 0.0 means fully transparent. And now the third way of specifying color is using hex values. When specifying a hexadecimal color, we use the format RR, GG and BB. The RR, GG and BB values represent the red, green, blue components of the color. The variables RR, GG and BB are typically used to represent red, green and blue component of a color in hexadecimal format. In this format, each component can have a value ranging from 00 to FF which is equivalent to the decimal range of 0 to 255. Let's take an example to understand how colors are displayed in hexadecimal code. The color red represented by the code hashtag double F double zero double zero is achieved by setting red to its highest value FF and the other color channels green and blue to their lowest values. On the other hand, 
black can be displayed by setting all color channels to their lowest values of 00. zero. So the hexadecimal code for black is hashtag double zero double zero double zero. Similarly, white can be achieved by setting all color channels to their highest value of FF. Hence the hexadecimal code for white is hashtag double F double F and double F for all the three channels. Now in CSS source code, you may come across a three digit hex code. This code serves as a shorthand for certain six digit hex code commonly used in web designs. The three digit hex code follows a specific format which is hashtag then RGB. In the hexadecimal color system, the values for red, green and blue components are represented by letters R, G and B. These values from 0 to F, when all three components have identical values, then a three digit hex code can be used. For example, if we have a hex code of hashtag double F, double zero, double C, it can be condensed to F zero C while representing the same color. And now these are the ways through which we can specify the color values for our properties where we want to use colors. And alright, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to join this exciting web development journey with us. Until next time, keep coding and keep creating. I will see you in the next video.